Hi, and welcome to this Business Solutions Podcast. I'm Jim Roddy, the president of Jameson Publishing and Business Solutions Magazine. Thank you for joining us. As always, we're here to provide actionable information on how VARs can sell more products, penetrate thriving vertical markets, and improve their business operations. Our discussion topic today is take your all-in-one expertise to to new markets. Our guest today to help give us an inside perspective is Mark Mendenhall. Mark is the president of ELO Touch Systems. Mark, thanks for your time today. All right, thanks, Jim. Pleasure to talk to you. Uh, good. And uh, so, Mark, uh, let's just jump right into it. Which markets could use a VARS all-in-one expertise? I think one of the real untapped markets that they could get into is the healthcare space, both the small doctor's offices and clinics, as well as penetrating into larger hospitals and standalone hospitals. Uh, and then how about beyond that? Is there, uh, you and I were talking a little bit before this, how about current customers uh, that they have? Are there things that they can do uh, in there as well? Yeah, I think one of the things that they could do in their existing space, primarily if they're focused a lot on the retail or even gaming spaces, is they, they could take and learn about digital signage, particularly mm-hmm. interactive digital signage, because that allows them to sell more than just the cash register and customer transaction piece in a, in a market, and it can help them transcend and penetrate new markets like healthcare that we just spoke about. Got it. And so our audience uh, for BSM is a combination of VARs and, and ISVs, so you know, a lot of times very different businesses. First for VARs, what steps should they take? They can form partnerships so they can you know, snag a piece of that health care pie. Well, one of the things I think they need to do is understand that there are some different requirements in the health care space, but a lot of the things stay the same. And one learn which hard sorry which hardware providers are mm-hmm. currently in that space providing targeted products for the healthcare market that have designed the products to be and operate in that environment mm-hmm. um, the next thing is understand which ISVs are operating in the healthcare space um, and providing solutions there already there is i think a great untapped space of for the var to be able to kind of connect the var sorry connect the the hardware provider and the ISV to provide mm-hmm targeted solutions in healthcare and for the digital signage aspect of it, um, that's, that's a burgeoning new space that's growing. And the, the ISVs to provide the content or deliver up the content in an interactive digital signage teamed up with a lot of us hardware providers that are creating new digital signage products. The VAR, the capabilities it takes to deploy and service a digital signage application, whether it's in a medical or a healthcare space, or in a retail grocery point of sale space are the same capabilities and typically will probably be the same VARs and same hardware, I'm sorry, the same ISVs and the same hardware providers. Mm-hmm. If there's an unknown for a reseller, like particularly in healthcare, one thing we always recommend to folks is, you know, pick up the phone and call your distributor. They can, you know, help point you in the right direction. Obviously, you wouldn't mind people, um, VARs calling you uh, at ELO as well, but do you think that's, that's okay advice for somebody to call the distributor and they can start, you know, helping foster some of those partnerships? Yeah, a lot of our distributors have already got a focus on uh, market segments outside of what would be their traditional space. Um, most of our distributors are actually looking at and deploying and have been selling some of our healthcare and medical um, targeted products for the last couple of years, as well as they have been selling our digital signage products. Mm-hmm. So they have familiarity both with our products and they are putting um, their own targeted market efforts, and we're working with them to educate them and to learn from them um, what solutions need to be provided in that space. So by working with their distributors and working with their healthcare, uh, sorry, their hardware providers, mm-hmm. um, it's a it's a quick way to start learning these markets. Yeah, there are a lot of distributors, like you said, who have those programs. And they also have they have real life experience already uh, in healthcare. Uh, tying in with that, in BSM we've done a lot of case studies. Uh, All in one VARs get into the healthcare uh, game uh, with installs in like a cafeteria or a gift shop. You know, sometimes in hospitals, sometimes in senior centers. Uh, what are your thoughts on that topic of a way? To, to start dipping your toe into healthcare, you know it, it's a great start to create a relationship, but they shouldn't stop there. You know the the cafeterias and the gift shops in hospitals and senior centers are a fraction of the applications that they could actually end up selling into. Where you really want to get into is how how do you get in a product and a service at every bed at at, at every. Um, point of customer interaction or patient interaction. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's far more of those applications, whether it's patient entertainment or doctor information or, or patient service records um, that occur within a hospital than just in the, the, 
cafeteria and gift center. It does take some different capabilities, but we've been developing products for those capabilities for, for quite a few years now. And we were talking before this interview, and you were giving some examples of, you know, touch screens or, or things of that nature in there. Any particular product or, or you know, something that you can uh, give a VARTA picture, um, you know, in a hospital room uh, that may be, you know, kind of a, a next generation thing, maybe in terms of scheduling, keeping doctors on track, stuff like that. Yeah, well, hospitals are in a competitive situation as well. And if they're going to have patients in there either for any extended period of time, and an extended could be an hour or it could be weeks at a time, Patient entertainment and patient access to information is critical. Imagine every bed in the hospital with an all-in-one um, touch computer um, sitting at the patient's place where there's a pay-for-services um, aspect. They could watch TV on it just as if they had a TV in the room. Mm -hmm. But if they wanted to do their email or they wanted to um, get on Facebook, through, get on social media, these touch computers allow them to be deployed easily um, they're easy to clean and disinfect, and we're selling a significant number of these um, across a number of medical applications. That's one area that I would target hospitals with because that gives that hospital or that clinic or that senior center a strategic advantage um, or a customer service advantage over the people that are not deploying that. Got it. So that was, that was some good advice for VARS. How about uh, advice for ISVs? What would be some of your advice for, for them to be, you know, as compatible uh, with as many hardware vendors as possible? Well, you know, I would say be flexible. And by being flexible, if, if you see a hardware vendor that has product that um, you would like to get certified on or that you would like to make sure your, your um, software runs on that that vendor is talk with them. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one of the things that we do is we will do um, the certification for some of the ISVs, or we will provide them the hardware free of charge um, through a program that they could do the certification on themselves and then report back to us. So I think a flexibility in um, having your software certified to run on as many different hardware platforms as possible particularly if the hardware vendor is willing to pick up some of the costs of yeah. doing that certification and, and support um, can only help the ISV. And as you mentioned, it seems like the first step needs to be picking up the phone and not just guessing as to what the you know, hardware provider would need, but having a good collaborative effort on it. Yeah, and I, I would look for the hardware providers that have ISV programs in place that are already looking for, um, you know, from a, from a hardware provider's perspective, we want to be able to say we run as many different applications as possible. So yeah. we put in place a, a program to work with the ISVs and, and lower their cost of certification and support um, and get uh, discounted hardware and software for them to do their own internal evaluation. I'd look for hardware providers that have those type of programs. Got it. And um, finally, Mark, we just have about a minute or so left. You mentioned digital signage. Uh, advice for VARs looking to expand uh, add digital signage to, to their line card. How can they do that effectively? Well, I think the best way is, you know, one, work with your, your distributors that you're currently buying product from. Understand who they have for digital signage products. And, and realize digital signage doesn't just mean a large display in a lobby. Right. It could also be an in-cap display. So a, a couple critical things for digital signage is, who makes the products that, that can be used as digital signs? A lot of the all-in-ones that people make could also be used as a digital sign. Who makes software and, and that pushes the content and takes the interaction um, back to it? And then how do you provide a service by which you deploy digital signage and um, deliver the service and then service the digital signage as it's deployed? Um, learning those three aspects of the market, and, and we're, we're more than help, happy to help people with that, can get you another arrow in your quiver by which you can maximize your sales at whether you're trying to expand it to new markets like medical or trying to expand your content in your existing customer base. Got it. And if you can just give an example of if someone already has an all-in-one install that they can add into, um, you know, add on to that in terms of don't just sell the all-in-one and leave, see what digital signage needs that, you know, this, the, the customer might have. Right. So let's say you're doing small grocery um, and you've got all the cash registers at the small grocery store. Every end cap of the small grocery store uh, – provides an opportunity to either do a customer loyalty program or to do a specials or um, promoted promotion of advertising. If you've got the cash registers and the service contract for that and you can deploy the digital signage on all the end caps, you've now greatly increased the amount of hardware you've got in the, 
the store, as well as the service contract and revenue possibilities from that. Got it. That's a good one. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hopefully our discussion has given you uh, some insights into how to take your all-in-one expertise into new markets and uh, even expand that all-in-one expertise and uh, get more sales from your existing customers. Uh, before we go, I want to say thanks to Mark Mendenhall for joining us today. Mark, always a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks, Jim. Pleasure to talk to you as well. And thanks to you so much for listening. Our goal at Business Solutions is to provide growth strategies for the IT channel. For more information, please visit our website at www.bsminfo.com. Thanks again for listening.